Alright, so this is my one week post-op update video. I've decided I should stop doing the chair. I've decided that I'm going to do update videos um, about progress and stuff. Um, definitely, hopefully weekly for the first few weeks and then you know after after that it's a week by week it would be fun and interesting. Because nothing really happens like in that middle chunk of the six months of ACL rehab. So this is first week post-op. Today is when? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Um, yesterday was technically my week. Um, and let's see. Let's talk about things. All right. So my knee, I'll show all the stuff at the end of the video. But um, I'm, not on, I'm, I'm not using crutches anymore. Um, I can walk. I mean, full weight bearing, everything. I can walk as long as I have a brace on, especially like when I'm actually like, outside walking around and stuff. Um, inside, I just kind of like hold the wall and walk. I don't feel like, like I'm not going to put my brace on to go to the bathroom. Like if I'm in a brace for too long, then my knee gets, it starts to get uncomfortable and hurt, and then I have to move around. Um, so the first couple days were really hard. Definitely really hard. Uh, it was hard to go to the bathroom because my knee was in like the knee immobilizer. Like I couldn't bend it, and like I had to like squat. It was it was bad. So that part sucked. Um, and then I don't like I don't like the Percocet medicine at all. I I can't. I I'm just I don't know. It makes me feel like like crap. I'm not like feeling like crap. So I took that the day of the surgery, the next day, and then one more pill the next morning. So Wednesday morning, we had my surgery on Monday, and that was it. I'm like done with that fight. I'm just gonna, I, I just suck it up because it's not worth, for me, in my opinion, it's not worth me feeling like crap. And then like, it didn't really even help my knee. <laughs> it was just like, oh, I'm gonna make you feel like crap. And then your knee is not really gonna feel better. So no more medicine. Um, I got my stitches out Monday. So my one week, the actual on one week, I think today's Wednesday. Today's totally Wednesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I got my stitches out Monday, but I still have like the um, medical tape. I don't know what it's called. Tape stuff on it. Um, maybe I should talk about what I actually did. All right. So I tore my ACL. Obviously, I got a patellar graft for that. A patellar tendon graft. I got that for my other ACL. Yes, I tore my my other leg. Yeah, I tore that two years ago. Um, but I got the patellar graft patellar tendon graft, and then I also tore, I had a radial root tear almost all the way through on my um, lateral meniscus, and then a medial meniscus tear. I don't know if that wasn't, you said that wasn't that bad, but the lateral one was like, I pretty much tore that pretty much. Um, so that's what's happening now. Um, the swelling is going down a little, but it's still kind of swollen and uncomfortable. Um, exercise wise, oh, I'm not sure what. Yeah, exercise wise, I can do like straight leg raises. Um, that's pretty much it. Like heel slides, uh, quad sets, like stuff to get my quads to fire and start firing again. But the quad sets are really difficult because because of all the swelling and stuff around the knee, it's just making it hard to fire because there's like not a lot of room to move around. Um, like, Trying to get my extension back and flexion back, but since I tore the meniscuses, I can't go past 90 until eight weeks. So eight weeks, my flexion shouldn't go past 90. Because then I, I asked my trainer, I said, like, "Why?" Because like, you popped stitches. But, oh, okay, let's not do that. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Week one was was tough. Not tough as in I couldn't remember how fast I got back like in my first week of my last surgery so I didn't know what to I didn't know what I obviously definitely know what to expect but I didn't know how hard I should be pushing myself and then I realized it took me a good four or five days to like be able to do a straight leg raise the straight leg raise is like, really difficult like it's not pain it's just like the quad doesn't know how to quad anymore you yeah. know yeah um so right now like pain is that like a, a four or five? Like when I'm doing exercises, especially like quad sets or like on, on a stem machine, like brushing, um, that hurts. 
my, my the medial side of my knee. Um, yeah, I feel like that's actually doing good. Um, other than that, it's not really painful when I walk around. It's just kind of weak and it that kind of sucks. So, uh, here's my knee. It's, it's a thing. Oh, man. <gasps> Alright, so. You can't even see the scar from the other one. I'm oh, sorry about that. But yeah, this is my knee. The zoom in. This little tape I was talking about. Um, let's see. Extension. This is. This, so this is what I'm missing. So I'm still missing a little. But that's okay. And then flexion. This is how much I can make. Exactly. See it pretty good. Like it's fat, as you can see. Oh, let me get the shadow. Yeah, it's pretty chunky right here and definitely right, right there. Yeah, not looking. And the atrophy is not looking really bad. I mean, kind of. Yeah, it does. But still. Oh, yeah. Oh, bend it, bend it. It feels so good. Okay, so. Okay. Um, that's that's my one week update. That, that's my one. Yes. That's one. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys two weeks. Well, one week for the two weeks update. Bye.